Hi, I am Shukanna. I am going to talk about mathematics in ancient and medieval India. Starting from the invention of zero, Indian mathematicians have contributed in many facets in the history of math, like in geometry, trigonometry, calculus, combinatorics, etc. Let's start with Hindu Arabic numerals, set of 10 symbols from 1 to 9 and 0 that represent number in decimal number system. They originated in India in the 6th or 7th century and were introduced to Europe through the writings of Middle Eastern mathematicians about 12th century. Expressing arbitrary large numbers using a small set of symbols involved three distinct ideas. Firstly, positional notation in which the value of a symbol is not fixed but depends on its location so that we read 32 as 3 tens and 2 ones. Secondly, a convenient choice of base to use in the positional notation. We use base 10 in decimal system. Lastly, we use a symbol of nothing which allows us to distinguish 302 from 32. There is an ancient Indian manuscript called Vakshali manuscript that contains the symbol for 0 which is written around 480. There are several inscriptions found in Cambodia having symbol for zero. Amid all this uncertainty, there is a definitive occurrence of zero in the text inscribed on the wall of a small temple near Gwalior, India, going back to 870 AD. The Shunya, symbol for nothing, was invented in India and reached the West through the Arabs, becoming zero in the process. In geometry, there are several Sanskrit texts, collectively called the Sulva Sutra, were written by the Vedic Hindus starting before 600 BC. They were thought to be compilations of oral wisdom, which go back to 2000 BC. These texts have prescription for building fire altars or Agni, with the detailing of a geometry textbook, making it the oldest geometry textbook in existence. The word Sulva means a cord and a rope, and Sutra describes the style of writing. It is also known that theorem of diagonal is uh, mentioned there, which is known as Pythagoras theorem in modern mathematics. The basic geometric theme of the Sulva Sutra is transformation of figures into one another with a given relationship between the areas of the initial and final figure. The method of construction often makes purely geometric with some amount of mensuration. Many procedures are of cut and move and area matching variety, but quite a few invoke the theorem of the diagonal and its converse. The ratio of circumference to the diameter of a circle is defined as a constant, pi. Mathematicians have been trying to find the value of pi as accurate as possible. The table contains the values obtained in different periods along with the relative error in the third column. Archimedes was the first person to approximate the area of a circle using two inscribed and circumscribed polygons. Aryabhatta might have used polygon of 384 sides to determine his value of pi. Interestingly, he used the term asana or proximate for his value. Neil Kanta, who have given commentary on the Tars writing of Aryabhatta, clearly mentions that asana is used because pi is irrational, making him the first person in history to conjecture the irrationality of pi. Madhava gave the first exact expression of pi. Him. The first text ever ha to have a word signifying the sign is Aryabhatya. The word is Jayartha, meaning half the chord. In Indian mathematical uh, tradition, the sign or jay of an angle is not the ratio of numbers. It is length of a certain line segment, a certain half chord. The radius of the base circle is a basic parameter for construction of such table. Aryabhatta has chosen the number 3438 as the value of radius of the base circle for computation of a sign table. We use degree, minute and second in astronomical computation of distance. So he got the radius by dividing the circumference of a circle 360 degree by 2 pi, uh, which is 3, 4, 3, 8 minutes approximately. Aryabhatta's original table is given in the form of poetry. Its value is tabulated in the table where first column contains the values of angles. The next column contains these numbers in the Hindu Arabic numerals. Aryabhatta's numbers are the first differences in the values of signs. The corresponding values of sign or more precisely of j can be obtained by summing up the differences up to the difference. For accessing the accuracy of Aryabhatta's computation, the modern values of signs are given in the last column of the table. The closed form of expression sin x is mentioned by Vashkara 1 in his work Mahavashkaraya. 
the relative error is very low for all angles almost in all practical purposes madhava has given the first representation of science series in sanskrit poetry the basic units are logo having single matra and guru having double matra and meter is determined by the pattern of short and long syllables the meters found in classical sanskrit poetry are sometimes alternatively classified into three kinds syllabic or akshar vritta syllabo quantitative verse or varna vritta and quantitative verse or matra vritta the type of uh, for a ta- meter of type varna vritta with single letter has two variation g or l with two letters so we have four variation as listed and a letter with the matra vitra type uh, the possible combinations are listed so it clearly follows the fibonacci series so we can safely say that sequence of these numbers are as well as sanskrit or prakrit poetry here are the references thank you